later construct a universe teeming with imperfection, misery, sin. Among the scholars of both heaven and hell, this query is known as the Riddle of Sorrows. If sin is itself a part of the grand design, is not sin then, by definition, divine? A question for the sages. The one particularly restless bunch kept a robust relationship to the topic. The Nephilim. Spawn of angels and demons. Warriors, relentless, unstoppable, blood mad. Until they were betrayed by four of their own. War, death, fury, and strife. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Inconceivable power was bestowed upon the traitors by those sworn to maintain symmetry, twixt order and chaos. The Charred Council. Bear witness as the Council holds court to end the Nephilim War in the name of balance. This is the new pact. War, bringer of worldwide fire. You are the juggernaut of all pain. Death, dark soul of eternity. You are the deepest decay. You are anti-life. Strife, endless spirit of timeless unrest. You are all that is unsettled in the hearts of that which lives and breathes. And finally, fury. Terrible engine of rage. You are the machine that- Are we to waste our time on ceremony or are we to fight? Step forward and recognize, horseman. You are the most impatient of your kin. The least predictable, dancing on the edge of your own reality. Your brothers understand the undertaking set before them. But do you? Still talking! Shall I have Death fetch us some tea, or can we get on with it? Fury, your role in this story is yet to be written. I wonder. Will you light the flame of creation anew, or stomp out the embers for good? <laughs> Dreams more thrilling than reality. Had I known the new pact would be so exciting, I would have let walls separate my head from my neck then and there. Is it possible to die of boredom? <laughs> Rampage. <laughs> Bored as I am. Perhaps I'm just lazy. If I didn't love you so much, I'd kill you just for something to do. The call? <laughs> Finally. Please, please, please tell me you're a planet of demons that needs slain. Or two. War. What pathetic fate have you brought upon yourself, brother? Watch your tongue. <laughs> I may be least favored of all the horsemen, but my tongue never found me chained to a rock like some dog. Fury, approach us. I take it there is a mess that needs tending to. Though you jest, you speak true. War has broken his vows to this council and shattered the seventh seal. <sighs> the apocalypse. Why would he. We know not. Yet. As we speak, Earth falls beneath the spears of heaven and the hammers of hell. So the horsemen are to ride. 
No. Lovachar Council seeks to understand how and why the traitor war has committed this abominable act. There is a matter that requires delicate attention. You should have called Strife. He's the delicate one. The seven deadly sins have been released. By whom, we cannot say. But the seven roam the earth, free of our prison. The balance between order and chaos is already in jeopardy. The seven cannot be left unchecked. War is in chains. Death is missing. Strife attends to other matters. The last time you faced the sins, it required all four of you. I can handle those fools in my sleep. But when this task is complete, I demand that you grant me my rightful place leading the horsemen. If you would trade obedience for a title, so be it. But never make a demand upon us, horsemen. You depart immediately. Greetings, Miss Fury. I must admit, this is a fortuitous fate. A watcher? You doubt my allegiance? Please, be not cross. I am such an admirer. Scratch that. I'm a fan. You are the horseman. The only one that matters. Enough! I will allow you to accompany me. Just stay out of my way. I will be as unto a shadow. Steadfast. Silent. More silence! Go! Seek out the place called Haven. Your quest for the seven deadly begins there. Fury, wait. I... Whatever has passed between us, search your heart. You cannot believe I am guilty of these crimes. Something is wrong with the universe. Be vigilant, Fury. Forces conspire against us. Keep my words! Haven for what, vermin? Humans, mistress. Adorable. Build a house of sticks during the end of the world. Where exactly do we go from here, Roger? I... I know not but what the Council commands, mistress. The quest for the Seven begins here.
Envy. Mine! Humans! Haven! Everything here! <laughs> mine! Move on, horsemen, or ye be mine too! <laughs> I'm on a mission. <laughs> Protecting humans? Humans think creation favors them. They are apes, crawling through dirt. <laughs> Quite the grudge you're carrying. What they have, I will take. <laughs> when they have nothing left, they will be my playthings until they break. <laughs> you cannot stop me! <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Humanity is tragically overrated. I am not here for them. I'm all yours. <laughs> Pretty. Come and get it. Ah, that's mine! A mistress. Not to be a father. But weren't you supposed to catch Envy? I did. Watch. This talisman. It's a vessel. Envy used it to hold energies from the rest of the Seven. It will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken. If I may, there is a... Well, a sort of hum emanating from the talisman. That glow... Will indicate when one of the Seven is nearby. I know. So wise. You are all that the Council promised, Mistress. 
I'm beginning to enjoy the sound of your voice, Watcher. I would be remiss in my duties if I didn't point out that even with the talisman, locating the other deadly sins will prove a challenge. Finding envy was easy enough. That was a gift. One I would not count on receiving twice. Envy was also by far the weakest of the deadly sins. Anything else to add? Only what I assume you already know. The armies of both heaven and hell have cordoned off the world of man into various areas of influence. Look around us. The upheaval we have seen is the very personification of the struggle between order and chaos. You have set for yourself an unenviable task, given these environs. That's what makes it fun. The other sins are hiding across this shattered world. They strike at angels and demons alike in their own selfish bids for power. Their hubris will lead me right to them. Perhaps. But you will need assistance. Whatever I need, I will take, Watcher. I knew that war would one day unleash all this. But see, <laughs> his gifts are impressive. You have the mistress, and you have no peer among your horsemen, brethren. <laughs> Not my concern. That tree, it's impressive. But is it just me, or is it out of place here? It is a maker tree. Most likely we will find refuge there.
mighty Rako. Says the demon who announces his ambush. Ah, it was not my intention to do battle, horseman. Ah, well, such a passionate little thing, aren't we? Do not test my patience. Very well. War is too hazardous an occupation for myself, horseman. I am here in the name of blind capitalism. I am Baldwin, merchant of the dam, a trader who deals in souls for profit. Even in the face of the apocalypse, one must endeavor to earn a living. And whose souls do you trade in? Angel, demon, or even human. All souls have value to me. I've seen the trail of bodies you've left in your wake. What would I require from you? That depends. What are your needs? Information. The seven deadly sins. Whispers on the wind say that the fabled horsemen are but pawns in a larger game. Victims of a grand setup. What do you know? I know that the first one's free. Call for me if you have souls to trade, and perhaps you will consider my wares valuable. What would you ask of this humble man? Take your time. As you wish. Farewell for now. <laughs> Vulgrim and his demon tongue. They live to confound and feed of the scraps of a world they help destroy. Indeed they do. But despite his thirst for souls, Vulgrim may be a useful tool on this journey. The length these roots have grown. They seem to have taken over everything. Indeed, mistress. as to who remains here, if anyone. Behind me, we ones! Let me tend to our uninvited guests. The Horseman? Fury, currently reserving the right to kill you where you stand. And you are? Surprised. I'm more than a little relieved. Call me Ulfane Blackhammer. So, you'll not be flattening me today? Hmm. A maker, are you not? Aye, when there's something to make. Today, my skills are only aimed towards instruments of death. This is not your war. No, not theirs neither. Like your counsel, I care for balance, horsemen. Humans, frail as they be, are part of the balance. Surely you're here to help protect them. <sighs> Wrong question. <laughs> A tribe of useless, hairless simians whose greatest talent was inventing ingenious new ways to divide and destroy one another. They could suffer forever, or die tomorrow, and I wouldn't bat an eye either way. Then what is your business here? 
What do they call you? Jones. Jones. Question me again with your last breath. <laughs> Look around. Look what's happened here. Do you honestly think anything scares me now? Easy, lad. This one's none for trifles. Yeah? What do I have to lose? This moronic conflict makes you all look so stupid! Angel, demon, horseman, even maker! What are you even fighting for, huh? Tell me! I like this one. You may continue breathing, Jones. Horseman, please. To have you on our side would turn the tide in ways we cannot measure. Humanity might stand a chance. While my mission does involve balance, it does not require them. I am here to root out the seven deadly sins and return them to the Council. No less, no more. What if I can help you? That by the chain you carry could use someone. I sincerely doubt that. I'm faring quite well without any help. <sighs> of course. But in case you missed the moniker, I am a maker who specializes in instruments of destruction, chaos, and the deliverance of pain. So it stands to reason that we little Ulthane could enhance your arsenal if your horsemanship would give me the chance. In exchange for? Humanity will not survive without aid. If you come across any humans on your journey, please direct them here. Haven is the only place they might be sufficiently protected. Direct them? How do you expect the apes to cross a battlefield and find you? Oh, I don't. They'll need this, the bridge. Only humans can use it. One touch, they're sent to Haven. Must I touch them? I accept your offer, Maker. Though I doubt it will make your collection any less useless. <laughs> we have a non-deal, then. As a show of good faith, a gift. Wrath. Where? You seek a pit of Hellstretch set in the nether, beneath the city. And please, horsemen. Yes, yes, I will shepherd the Wee Ones your way. Pointless as it may be. We'll see. And remember, Fury, the doors of Haven stand open to any who ask. Certainly committed to his cause. Ulthane, he is blind to what truly matters. Perhaps, yes. Just another pawn who will never understand the game into which he's been played. <laughs> and he does love the sound of his own voice, doesn't he? Not like anyone I... Did you say something? 